Hello everyone, welcome to another AI tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to install and use Pinocchio AI browser. Now, as you can see with Pinocchio AI, you can install, run and control terminal apps, bots, uh, AI apps, servers, uh, databases and a bunch of different things on your computer with one click. Now, Pinocchio is a browser that lets you install, run and programmatically control any application automatically. Now, as you can see here, just some of the feature things and, um, you know, that Pinocchio can do. Um, it's basically AI browser in one. You can have stable video diffusion, comfy UI, a couple of things here like um, LL LLM based pseudo music captioning, which is like great. It has a, a bunch of different things. Well, what you can do is to install and use Pinocchio AI is just click download here. And as you can see here, you have a uh, uh, download Pinocchio for Windows, for M1 or M2 Mac, Intel Mac or Linux. Now I have M1 or M2 Mac, so I'll click here. And as you can see, this is basically what you want to do. You want to click to download Pinocchio for M1 and M2 Max. Now, once you have that, you will need to go here and you will need to basically run the downloaded DMG installer file. You will need to drag and drop it into applications and a patch command click open patch command and then you will need to add the password and uh, as you can see you will you will be able to open pinocchio app in the applications folder so that's pretty much how you can do and how you can install pinocchio for your m1 or m2 mac now uh, you can also download pinocchio for windows for windows you just click um, download for windows unzip it and then just install it and run it anyway here now, once you run it anyway, you just click more info run anyway, and that will be pretty much it. You will be able to install and use Pinocchio AI browser. So that's pretty much how you can go and how you can install the Pinocchio AI browser. Now, as you can see, you have a lot of different things that you can use within the browser itself. Uh, if you want a more in-depth video, I can create a more in-depth video. However, this is basically all the AI tools in one tool, which is great. And as you can see right Pinocchio. here, this is basically how Pinocchio browser looks like. As you can see, what's in, once it's installed right here, um, you will be able to do a lot of different things right here, as you can see. Uh, but that's pretty much how you can uh, install and use Pinocchio AI browser. If you have any questions or comments, or if you want a more in-depth tutorial, I can create a more in-depth tutorial. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.